Okay guys, let's say that we have a project in Angular and we would like to deploy this uh, project to Heroku or to have it displayed in internet. So let's create first a uh, new project. Let's say new project will be the name of our project without routing with simple CSS. And we see that the Angular CLI is uh, uh, creating our directory and file structures also are fetching the needed uh, node modules which afterwards will be transpiled and run into javascript all right we see the project is initialized and uh, if we go to new project we see the files are out there okay so now it's time we can run ng-surf uh, to serve it locally and to see if it works. So this will open a uh, live development server and this port. We can uh, copy the information and uh, open up our browser. And we see that the project is loading up uh, successfully on our local host. And now if we stop this server and see the directory structure. If we type ng-build, this command will automatically create a production uh, build of our project. Here is one new directory appeared, uh, dist. And when we go to this directory, we can see our project is in site and uh, we have index.html file and we can uh, run it. The only thing problematic here is that we need to have a server to run this file. And for this, we'll create a one express uh, server. Okay, so this is the project structure. And now inside, we'll create one directory called server. Okay, this uh, directory here, and we'll open up the whole project in uh, Visual Studio Code. So click on open folder and we'll choose our new project. Here inside of the server folder, we'll create a new file and we'll call it uh, server.js and actually uh, this will be our express server which will serve uh, the whole uh, generated uh, project from this, uh, this uh, directory so let's uh, start writing uh, uh, the server initially we would like to require the express library so we'll type var express equals to require express afterwards We'll create an instance of this express. We'll call it app. We we'll also need uh, a path module to determine the current path we are in. It will be a constant path and we'll require a path. And let's set a port on which our server will listen. So this port will be, let's say, 5000 or in case we are in a, a hosting provider environment we'll grab the port from the environment so we'll type process and dot environment dot port okay and then we will uh, set the application path here we see that uh, our application is called a uh, new project so we'll type var app path and we would like to run actually from this new project, uh, those files. Uh, so the past will be this new project. And since uh, we are in a server a folder, actually we have to go back one level in order to reach this uh, dist folder. Uh, so this will be the application path. Okay, these are the defaults we are setting up. And now we'll start uh, writing uh, our server. So we'll use our express server or the instance. We would like the moment uh, we are serving a root address to use the static method of express and uh, to grab our path and to join the current directory we are residing. So this is the their name uh, constant. And uh, to it we'll join our application path and that's how we will serve the main application. The next thing we would like is to listen to the specified port 
and uh, whenever the server is ready and just to console a log a listening on port and here we'll specify the port let's try to test uh, uh, this code actually we can open the terminal here we can run node server we'll go to the directory and we'll run server.js we see a little mistake here we need to use the back literals now we see that the server is listening on port 5000 so if we go back to our uh, browser right now 4200 development will not work but our 5000 should display our project okay so right now the local development is good one more thing uh, i would like to do is whenever we are reaching another url instead of letting the express to route the url to transfer it to angular for this we'll add an additional statement here and uh, in case we have a get request and for all of the get requests we would like to when we capture them to send the index uh, html file so we'll type in the response send file again we'll use path join and again this their name constant then we will use the application path this is the same as before but this time we would like to serve statically the index html file we're closing the brackets and for now that should be enough so let's test the code we have to stop and again run the server in order to read the current new configuration when we go to the project we see the default page works let's go to some strange url we see the path argument must be a type of string receive type number let's see what's wrong okay here actually we have to use the concatenation this was the little mistake let's run again our server and uh, check again with the default address it works and now let's run some strange address and we see that we are redirected uh, to our default page all right the next thing we would like to do is to deploy this application to uh, Heroku so here we are in the current uh, project directory uh, let's install Heroku I have it installed here if you're on under Ubuntu you can type sudo snap install classic Heroku and then we need to uh, create our project so we'll type Heroku create and the project name and uh, so will be project one and the name is already taken and so let's say project new okay my project all right so this uh, I created our project and we see that uh, we can find uh, the project under this directory and uh, the remote repository towards which we can uh, apply our files it's on this address git heroku.com my project new dot git so now we need to synchronize uh, this directory new project with the remote let's uh, first uh, initialize our uh, github repository uh, here so we'll type git in it once it is set up we can add all the uh, files uh, from our local directory um, to the staging area of uh, git which is still uh, local on our uh, machine so we'll type git at all and now so we would like all the files to be committed so create our first commit so git commit and we'll add a little comment our first commit we successfully uh, created our first commit we see one file has been changed nine insertions and the next thing is to check uh, what's going on on the remote side so we can type git remote minus v and we see that uh, uh, we'll be pushing correctly on uh, the addresses uh, once we would like to uh, push to Hiroko we can type git push Hiroko master this will push our local master uh, to Hiroko so it will conduct uh, uh, Hiroko and 
we will upload our files there. And not only this, we see now that uh, a new virtual machine or container has been created in Heroku. Uh, they're called also Dynas. And uh, from within our uh, local um, file, which is called package JSON, um, everything is read. And uh, then uh, it will be recreated. So first, uh, all the packages will be recompiled and uh, also ng-build will be uh, started. Once everything is ready, we should uh, have a local uh, running installation of uh, our Angular application. So we see that the build has been successful. And very soon, the application can be shown on this address. So we'll copy the link and probably we have errors. We can check the errors with Heroku Logs tail. It will connect to the remote server and will display uh, the errors. If you see such uh, strange errors, this means that probably the server is not uh, started because we are starting the server with ng-surf and uh, for local development it's okay, but uh, uh, once we are using the Heroku servers, we should use something else. Um, so now we'll open up again our Visual Studio and uh, here we'll go to our uh, package.json file. We see from the start that uh, we're using this command ng-surf and we'll replace it with a command uh, we are using to start our uh, Node.js uh, server or Express server. The moment the machine is built, it will start to serve our application. Uh, we save, we can uh, stop the local um, server and that's the only change we need to do. Afterwards, automatically Heroku will run ng-build, will create the, this directory and uh, uh, the server will start to serve our uh, project from this, uh, this directory. Okay, so the file is uh, changed and the next thing we have to do is again to add the file to the staging area and uh, to create another commit afterwards to push the changes from our master branch to the Heroku remote. And now we see that the project has been deployed to Heroku. Let's uh, uh, go back and to the browser to check now our application and again we see errors and we here see from the error log that uh, we cannot find the module express okay let's uh, go back uh, to the package uh, json file one way is to just install this uh, package so we'll type npm install express inside of our project and to see whether this will update our uh, dependencies. We see now that Express appeared here in the dependencies and uh, we should uh, not uh, reach the same error message. Let's uh, push again our project. So we'll add all the changed files and then we'll make our third commit. And now it's time to push our master branch to Heroku. All right, so the project is being deployed. Let's check it on our browser. We'll just refresh it. And we see our project works. And this is an Angular project which we managed to uh, deploy to the uh, Heroku. If we refresh our dashboard, we can see our my new project here. And we see our um, commits and deployments. So that is for now, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed the tutorial and if you like the information you can subscribe to the channel.